all right so here I am walking down to see the new pond that I built here at the house and the first thing I did was step in a old uh, stump hole but it has rained so much for the last couple of days look at the water just flowing out of the ground can you see that moving it's just everything is saturated this is all the woods I thinned out just look at all the water standing out there but anyways I thinned all these woods out here behind the house and uh, built a pond down here kind of where I knew it would stay it always stayed wet look at the dog and water just coming out of the ground I got to uh, finish my little path off but it is slam full the Egyptian geese seem to have come over here and liked it I got a dock belt there's a lot of rain on the way so I'm gonna do a quick walk around here of it I got water a little duck right there got water flowing in right here got a good little stream flowing in right here this is just runoff off of the uh, out of the woods right there I mean that's a good little mountain right there I put in a I guess this you you would say this would be the dam this is about it's just a uh, pond's pretty much just a hole in the ground so I put in a 12 inch overflow I might actually grab this stick right here hopefully not fall in so that's a 12 inch pipe and get rid of all these roots and everything so that's got very good flow the uh like i said the 12 inch overflow um i got it where it'll suck all the water off the top that way it'll as it uh water flows in it'll uh suck all that skim and trashy stuff that floats on the surface off um, i got 60 foot of pipe over here so that it dumps out into the head of the other pond so as you can tell from right there there's good flow coming out and the ducks are having a ball I had the pump set up because I was uh okay, I finished this in like September or October I don't remember anyway there's half of a 15 that's a 12 inch and I got some free 18 uh, 15 inch pipe so I shoved that over it so I got 40 foot of extra pipe for free so I just shoved it over to 12 that's why it's moved up in size but um, I have been pumping we had a super super dry summer it uh, didn't hardly rain any at all so the lower pond right here it's got a lot of runoff that goes into it too so I would uh, if that pond was full I'd put a gallon of gas in the and the pump here and let it run for a little while just to get some water in here and now I can tell that was a waste of time because I definitely don't need that now I was getting a little worried like I said it we had a very very dry summer so uh, therefore there was no water run into this thing at all which was good for digging it because I mean it was still wet with the off-road truck when I had it out here digging let's see wow I've never seen water stand over here before it's uh flowing right out and there's starting to rain again because we got more rain on the way it is just saturated look at all the water just standing all out here hmm but I think it turned out good the water's right here at the top edge like I wanted it to uh, for some reason when I shot it with the transit it marked it's a little bit lower than I wanted it to the water is going to come up just a little bit higher but for some reason when I shot it with the laser to put the dock in I screwed it up about five inches the water is supposed to be about five inches higher so therefore the dock is pretty low into the water 
so but I don't think that really hurts anything it's kind of like walking out onto the water Get a good flow coming in here this is the actual creek right here I've been coming around here dragging logs and shit out so this is the actual creek that does flow into it like I said when it does rain it being so dry this thing just pretty much dried up it only flows when it's it'll flow all winter now the, the water table is up high enough but that's a good amount of water flowing in and we might actually be able to see one of my old paint marks of where I decided I wanted the water level at I don't remember I might have been up here and cleared some since well that comes out of the woods all this is just run off out of the woods so this is about the color that the water will turn it's kind of it's kind of clear it's kind of a murky we'll have a dark black tint so I think that'll look good let see this is a good place to cross right here I think that'll look good a nice dark black tint color I'll walk over here and look at the dock I did take in uh, about 50 pound bag, a bag of grass seed and I ran around here and just threw some out um, just to kind of help prevent erosion plant a little cypress tree right there it was on sale that's why it's bent and uh, just kind of get a little bit of something coming up around the bank here to keep it from eroding too bad but I built a what size dock is that 10 by 20 I think 10 by 16 no 10 by 20 uh, I built that took the excavator and drove some piles in the ground some old light poles built a frame on top of that and then it was actually so wet when I did this that I just built framed it up in two big sections and set it on here with the excavator and then come in here and put my decking down so there it is you got about I don't know 10, 10 inches down through the water so pretty much just like walking right out onto the pond well there it is all nice and full hopefully with all this water flowing in it should uh, should clear up nice all this muddy water should flow out and uh, it'll all be the they're darker water.